As modern technology advances, roles in STEM are becoming increasingly more important to drive development and innovation. Ford Motor Company have set up a wide range of STEM programs, opening up an accessible pathway for young people to learn and grow their careers. At Ford's high-speed test track in Essex, I'm getting a flavour of the future. Whoa! This is the all-electric Ford Mustang Mach-E. And if you think electric cars are boring, think again! The switch to electric vehicles is the biggest development in motoring since Henry Ford's Model T brought car ownership to the masses a century ago. Electrification is leading the charge in the automotive industry and creating new opportunities in STEM careers. There's never been some more exciting time really to drive Ford. And that starts on the shop floor, where many of Ford's apprentices arrive straight out of school. We're learning at the same time. We're... Liam's an apprentice in advanced manufacturing engineering. I could see that there, there's uh, quite a lot of people out there Maybe they go to university and it's quite a struggle to find a, a job within a STEM field because you need that sort of experience. Because obviously with like university and like schooling, it's a lot more sort of theoretical. But if you like physically doing it and you're physically seeing like the different sort of theories being put into place, sort of understand how it works a lot better. OK, Liam, welcome. Yeah. Today, Liam's seeing what's possible when technology and engineering work together. This driving simulator puts new vehicles through their paces before they reach the test track. So every little defect or bump that you're feeling has come, it's, you know, it's a true representation of, of how, the, how the tarmac or the cobbled surface, whatever it is on our proving ground, just slow down a little bit for this, uh, this is that corner. But Liam's apprenticeship is just one of the STEM-focused career paths helping Ford develop new talent. Eloise is doing a degree and learning on the job as a product development apprentice. My school did a lot of STEM competitions, things like that, and Ford kind of came in and did loads of workshops about STEM. Um, they really pushed it. I did a lot of women in engineering days here at Dunton um, throughout my time at school. So it was always kind of appealed to me coming to Ford getting a feel of everything so yeah it's kind of a mixture of kind of CAD design programming a um, bit of admin as well kind of getting a feel of the business of Ford and how it operates from the bottom level right up to the top the entire industry not just the automotive industry but the mobility industry is transforming at pace and in that space it's really critical that we're bringing in lots of new talent uh, and STEM is super important for that so technology design uh, new skill sets in um, digital but also data science. But attracting the right talent means sharing the same values, helping to develop a culture which champions diversity, inclusion and a more sustainable future. As a company uh, in Europe, uh, we're going to uh, get to uh, net zero uh, by 2050, uh, but actually all of our um, uh, facilities, including all of our manufacturing uh, operations, uh, will also achieve that by 2035. So I think it's, it's incredibly important for the business. Putting that to one side, uh, obviously it's important for the planet, but many of the younger um, folks that we're trying to attract, if a company's purpose doesn't embrace uh, sustainability and a care for the planet, then they're not super interested in joining us. We do recognise that people are our greatest asset. And that's certainly my goal and my drive is to make every entry point into Ford as accessible as possible. We're giving opportunities to, to younger people to really make a difference within our business because talent is, is, is what's driving the business, it's the core. Turning today's new talent into tomorrow's driving force of the company.